In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God saw it was good. The Dolphin In what part of the world do dolphins live? The dolphins live all over the world. Um, they are basically ubiquitous. They are everywhere around us. Um, we have dolphins here in Miami. We have them in Biscayne Bay. We have them in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, there's actually several species of dolphins within really 50 miles of us. And so they're found all over the world. Um, we have them down in South America, in China, and. Uh, California, I mean, they're, they're all over the world. Dolphins swim, um, have been clocked, Atlantic bottom dolphins, up to 25 miles an hour. They're, they're very quick s swimmers. They're very active physical animals. I don't think people really appreciate how strong these animals are until they get into the water with them. You know, here at Seaquarium, we have a, a swim with the dolphin program, which allows our guests to actually get in the water, play with the dolphins, do rides with the dolphins, and, and it's really through that program that people can really appreciate the strength, speed, agility of these, of these animals. They're, uh, you know, it's extremely hydrodynamic. I mean, they're designed for speed. They're very sleek. Um, you know, they're, they're just exceptional animals um, as far as their agility, their ability to jump, leap, do flips. Just really, really neat overall animals uh, to interact with and participate with. Their bodies have been created according to a marvelous design. Well, dolphins can jump extremely high. We actually do a ball jump here that you probably can see in the background, and uh, we've actually got that ball up to about 22 feet where a dolphin can jump up and touch that, touch that ball. So it's based on the, their speed and their agility that allows them to, to jump. And it's not even as much as how high they can jump, but it's some of the spectacular behaviors that they emit when they jump. They can do front flips and spins and uh, back flips and just all kinds of really neat acrobatics. They're extremely strong, agile animals and um, some of the behaviors that they emit here at Sequarium are, are certainly spectacular. I mean, their ability to leap um, and to high bounce always continues to amaze me, whether it's in the water or them jumping out of the, out of the water. They're just really, really neat, magnificent animals to watch, to interact with, to play with, and uh, really just a great, great opportunity. Another very unique characteristic of dolphins is their echolocation, which I think certainly allows people, and it, it puts them in their intelligence, which is their ability to emit sounds out of their melon area that are actually sonar sounds that will travel through the water, bounce off an object, and then come back to the dolphin, receive through the lower jaw, and then transmit it to the brain. It's a very unique sense that allows these animals not only to determine objects that are out there, but the size, the density, the distance of these objects. And, so echolocation certainly is something that classifies them as, a, as an intelligent animal in the animal kingdom. God created dolphins with a complex system that allows them to find their direction by sensing sound waves. Scientists call this system echolocation. To find out how dolphins do this, we have to look closely at their heads. A dolphin breathes through its blowhole, located at the top of its head. Just below the blowhole, there are little sacs filled with air. By making air pass through these sacs, they emit high-pitched sounds. The air sacs act as an acoustical mirror, focusing sound produced by small knobs of fatty tissue just beneath the blowhole. And later, these clicking echolocation sounds are sent out at brief intervals into the surrounding area. Clicks emitted by dolphins immediately echo back when they hit any obstacle. Dolphins listen very carefully to these echoes. These sound waves are received at an area in the lower jaw called the acoustic window. From there, the acoustic information is transmitted to the middle ear and ultimately to the brain for interpretation.
Dolphins also use their sonar system to send messages in an amazing system of communication. They can even send messages to one another over a distance of 220 kilometers. This means that a dolphin in the Bosphorus can communicate by sonar with another dolphin in the Dardanelles. The fact that such a high-tech system has been constructed of flesh and bone and placed in the body of a sea creature is proof of the artistry of God's creation. Bye. 